A warm welcome to social sciences class all Ang Minds. We are coming across Unit 4 Atmosphere. And the subtopic now we are going to learn about is humidity. In this video, you will be coming across a subtopic called humidity. What is humidity? The amount of water vapor that is present in the atmosphere. What is humidity ma? Humidity is the quantity of water vapor. Water vapor we all know how it will be reaching the atmosphere. When it is very hot, the water, water from water bodies will be getting evaporated. From living beings like plants, animals, humans, so it will be moving to the atmosphere by in a pro process called transpiration. That's why when we read about hydrological cycle in the unit number three, we, we came across the word evapotranspiration. The evapotranspiration is the amount of water that is getting evaporated from planet Earth, either from the water bodies or living beings. Evaporation is nothing but water getting melted into gases from, from the water bodies. Transpiration, the same water getting melted or getting evaporated, evaporated from human bodies or li other living beings like plants and animals. It's called transpiration. Evaporation plus transpiration gave birth to, gave birth to a word called evapotranspiration, right? This evapotranspiration is caused for the existence of humidity in atmosphere. When more quantity of, more quantity of water vapor reaches the atmosphere, then you observe your body. Why I am asking is, if more quantity is going to the atmosphere, more atmosphere, more water vapor will be deposited in the atmosphere. At the time, even though it sweats out, you don't feel comfortable. We feel sultry. Sultry means sweating out, but not getting dry. Body not getting dry. Sweat is on. Sweat is on, but this it is not getting dry. It remains same. Uh, we feel discomfort. If when uh, when it happens, when humidity or water vapor is the existence of water vapor is more in atmosphere, or humidity is more. Or we say humid, it's humid. What we say? Sultry or humid. This is the condition where our sweat will not get evaporated. But at times when humidity is less in the atmosphere, when humidity is less, we will be feeling very discomfort because we feel thirsty. Why do we feel thirsty when the humidity is less in the atmosphere? Uh, we know humidity is nothing but water vapor existing in the atmosphere. Water vapor is not there. So then the atmosphere requires some humidity because of the heat. Whatever the water content in your body that gets evaporated, that gets dragged. Transpiration, transpiration actually starts from the living beings. Of course, from water body cells. So, as it is getting dragged out water, we require water. What for water is required? Water is an important source for the blood cells, human blood cells. Food it is food of human blood cells, oxygen. Put it. And we get supplement of oxygen. Now, water is nothing but H2O, had two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. Put it. That's why when it is a huge. When it is very hot, we feel more thirsty because all the water gets dragged out. That's what I said about blue. Uh, when I explained you about blue, hot winds which will be coming from north west in uh, hot local winds. A couple of videos back, when I expressed, uh, when I explained to you about winds, types of winds, planetary winds, what are planetary winds, what are the effects of planetary winds, what are the seasonal winds, monsoons. Apart from that, local winds, hot local winds, cool local winds are also explained very clearly to you. And the hot local wind that India experiences during summer is, which comes from Arabian desert is, Lu. And that's the rise and 
it will be expanding up to uh, Madhya Pradesh and now Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana also are, are getting exp uh, exposed to, to that uh, loop, and that's the result. Uh, that results in uh, many deaths because of sunstroke. We say it's not because of sunstroke, na extreme heat in the summer added with this loop, local winds. So that will be causing human loss, right? Uh, human life loss, or uh, some animals uh, will be losing their life. Because all the water will be dragged out. So that's why at the time when this humidity is less in the atmosphere, it tries to drag out the water, that's why we feel thirsty to sustain our bodies, right? So this is humidity. Humidity is always calculated or measured at the ratio. But it ratio of two things. And that humidity is called relative humidity. What it is called? Relative humidity. Humidity is always expressed in form of relative humidity. That relative humidity is a ratio of two things. What are the two things? See, at a given temperature and pressure, what is the capacity of atmosphere to accommodate water vapor? We have to make ratio of this with the capacity of atmosphere to accommodate water vapor at any given time. At a given temperature and pressure, one variable and uh, it should be made a ratio with the, the capacity of atmosphere to accommodate or to contain water vapor at any given time irrespective of temperature pressure. So when we make a ratio of this both, we will get relative humidity and humidity always will be expressed in the form of relative humidity only. Absolute humidity, relative humidity types are there but mostly we use, we express the humidity as relative humidity only because it is a ratio. It gives exactly what is the capacity of the atmosphere irrespective of temperature pressure that should be made a ratio ratio with the, uh, this particular thing at a given temperature and pressure what it will be. What it will be the holding. But it, so this is called relative humidity. Relative humidity is the ratio. Uh, humidity expressed in the form of humidity, uh, relative humidity. What is relative humidity? Relative humidity is relative humidity is a ratio. It is a ratio. It is a ratio of two things. Ratio of two things. They are, they are, but the capacity of atmosphere, the capacity of atmosphere, atmosphere to hold, to hold, to hold certain quantity of atmosphere, certain quantity of, certain quantity of water vapor. Water vapor at a given, at a given, at a given temperature and and pressure and pressure. It should be made ratio. Ratio is one. The capacity of atmosphere to hold the capacity of atmosphere. Atmosphere. mathematical form. Suppose temp the actual capacity of atmosphere is, you think, uh, holding 80 grams of humidity for every cubic meter. Let's see, this is it. We have made ratio, ratio is two things. Now, actual capacity, actual capacity of atmosphere to hold whatever at any given time, at any given time is, at any given time is, At any 
you can tell me if you think 100, 100 grams it can hold another 100 grams it any any time actually if it is given a chance irrespective of temperature and pressure 100 grams it can accommodate it can accommodate right this is 100 per cubic cubic meter per cubic meter 100 grams per cubic meter okay na you are now we are going to make a ratio with water at any given time at any given temperature and pressure see temperature is 20 degrees celsius you think then there is 50 grams of 50 grams of what we can call water vapor in per cubic meter per cubic meter got it 50 grams of water vapor at what time 50 degrees celsius the temperature is Given temperature at a given temperature for 20 degrees Celsius, in atmosphere, in that 50 grams per cubic meter water humidity or water vapor. You would understand now? Right. Now, actually, what it is, what is its capacity? 100 grams. But what it is holding 50 grams, which how much percent is the humidity existing? Relative humidity, humidity is, you can understand. How much? Half only, na? Then the actual capacity? Half means how much percent it is having? 50 percent. Only 50 percent humidity it is carrying at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. That is nothing but relative humidity. And humidity is always expressed in the form of relative humidity. Hope you will be understanding this well. Relative humidity is the ratio of two things. One, the capacity of the atmosphere to hold. Uh, the certain quantity of water vapor at any given temperature and pressure, we have to make a ratio with the, the actual capacity of the atmosphere to hold water vapor at any given time. When we made, we took it as well. At any given time, 100 grams, we said that the humidity or water vapor existing in atmosphere uh, and uh, if, uh, at a given temperature, 20 degrees Celsius, it is only 50 grams per cubic meter, and we made a ratio. Now we got what is the percentage of uh, relative humidity existing only 50 percent. 100 it should be, but it became it only 50 grams are there. Means how much percent is there? 50 percent only. Relative humidity is 50 percent. Relative humidity is humidity is just 50 percent. Means 50 percent more it can accommodate. Atmosphere can accommodate. So when the atmosphere accommodates 100 percent. When, when atmosphere accommodates 100 percent width, it can hold 100 times of uh, 100 times per cubic meter uh, at any given time. If really at any at any temperature, if it is uh, it is uh, even uh, at any given temperature also it is having that 100 grams. That is called saturation point. That is called saturation level. That is called saturation level. That is called saturation level. That's called saturation level. And if uh, humidity reaches the saturation level, that is called a dew point. 100% humidity exists in the atmosphere. What atmosphere can accommodate? That is also that that is that is called saturation level. And once humidity atta atmosphere attains saturation level of humidity, then it is called dew point. Dew. You all know na uh, in winter. It will be on leaves existing like droplets of what? So that happens when the atmosphere is filled with 100% of water vapor, what it can hold. 100% of its capacity when the atmosphere accommodates water vapor, then it leads to the saturation level and saturation level will be called as dew point. From then after, if any water vapor is getting added, it will be again turning back to the earth in the form of uh, uh, precipitation in the form of a dew, that's why it's called dew point. Dew point. And in case of humidity, no only exception in the cases of uh, in the cases of uh, deserts. No? In the case of deserts, extremity of temperatures will be there. Extreme hot in the day, extreme cool in the night. Right? That's a different story. We don't want to go into that. Whatever the concept is there regarding humidity, this is the concept. If you understood, if you understand, 
that's my that's my fortunate aspect and I hope you will understand surely this concept and in the next video we will be meeting with her or we will be discussing uh, condensation next form of uh, uh, natural element uh, which, will, which is a cause for uh, act, uh, happening of weather and climate. See you all in the next video. Bye. Please follow the videos continuously.